Okay, let's do this. Take two. Hi, what's up you guys? I'm Daisy and today, as you can probably tell from the title, we're going to talk about coronavirus and some racist encounters that I personally experience and some that I gather from the news and my friends and we're going to get the issues out there today. Um, I have five pages of planning on this video that I'm about to do so you can see how serious this matter is. When I first started my channel, um, I know the last video is like four months ago, I thought it would be just a place where I can be myself, I can talk about fun stuff, I can um, do my makeup, I can organize stuff, I can decorate my room, and I can just show you um, the fun college experience, you know? And then I did film a fun video and it's probably coming to you. It's, um, I'm, I transformed myself into an ABG and it was really fun to film. Um, I went to brunch with my friend that day and it was really nice. But today, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are familiar with the outbreak of coronavirus in China. And I, when I was first planning this video, I thought this was going to be a fun and sarcastic one. And I would just be myself and I would tell you guys what I think. I would tell you guys about um, the serious matters, but in an entertaining way so everybody can withstand me. But this morning I was having breakfast in a study room. I was reading the news and then a doctor in Wuhan, the, where the virus originated, he has died this morning. It's difficult for me to see all of the news, the fake ones, the real ones. I don't even know who to believe anymore. I saw all these articles and none of them are seem to be telling the truth. And my mood's been kind of down. And I contemplated on not filming this video anymore, but I am still going to do it because I have a voice. I don't want to be silenced. I want to tell everybody about um, the ongoing issues. As an international student studying in Los Angeles in America, um, I want to show you my perspective, my side of the story, and I want to use my voice because a lot of people don't have a platform like this and they don't exactly know where they can express their opinions and I'm gonna use this chance as a chance to do it for them, basically. So, um, I don't really want this to be such a, you know, um, dark, depressing video, but, you know, stuff happened. This year's shit. Okay, um... Let's just start this video. I've already restarted it like three times. I don't want to keep stalling, so let's get started. If you're seeing I'm like reading something, I'm reading it from my iPad. It's my planning for this video. Just know that. First part I'm going to start with is what is coronavirus? How serious the issue is? It's global influence and its influence in China. I copied all of this information off of WHO, which is the World Health Organization website, and some of them I got from Chinese media sources, um, like um, the, infec the infection like map, how it is spread in China. <sighs> okay, I need to calm myself down first. Okay, I'm just gonna read the facts about this virus. And so you guys know what exactly it is, because I know there are a lot of um, tweaked, distorted media stuff going on on Twitter, on Instagram, and everywhere on social media that are not true. This is from an authoritative website. This is the truth, and you guys need to know what that is before making any sort of judgment towards Chinese students in America or anywhere else in the world. Okay, let's start. 
Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses found in both animals and humans. Some infect people and are known to cause illness ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. Uh, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome was spent in Saudi Arabia, I believe, in 2012. And then SARS, um, it was spread from China in 2003. A novel coronavirus is a new strain of coronavirus that has not been previously identified in humans. The new or novel coronavirus, now called 2019 and COVID, had not previously been detected before the outbreak that was reported in Wuhan, China in December 2019. So as you can see, coronavirus existed before the outbreak in China. It is not a Chinese virus, however, as Harold Sun says it to be on the front page of their fucking newspaper. Insert picture here. Why? Just as an authoritative newspaper that people read every day, why would you do that? Is my question. You know, my dad, my dad texted me, my sweet father texted me this morning. He was like, don't wear a mask. Please don't wear a mask on campus. I'm afraid you'll get you'll get beaten up. Because you guys probably know there are a lot of news going around that international students around the world in Germany, Australia, in America um, are being beaten up by people. And it breaks my heart to see those things. And I've personally experienced something that I'm going to talk about later, but and I'm gonna put a map here because I think like as of right now there are 69 known cases in total in the US um, and here is a map of China and the darkest red is the most affected area and you can see it's the sort of how the virus is influencing China right now so my parents my friends a lot of my friends, my cat, they're in Beijing, which is already pretty affected by the virus. And my grandparents are in Guangzhou, which is Southern China. It's also affected pretty severely, um, as you can see on the map. As of like where I am right now in LA, it's not life-threatening. There is one known case in LA County, one Orange County, and I think two in Irvine. If I'm wrong, correct me, but as of like UCLA campus right now, it's not a life-threatening thing. It's not even as severe as the flu that's going on right now. So just want to let you guys know that. Part two, I'm going to talk about personal experiences of possible racist encounters and as well as some um, stories from my friends and some that I extracted from various news sources just to let you guys see how affected Chinese international students are around the world. So after the news that um, the coronavirus has spread to Southern California, the door of my dorm room was talcum powdered. Um, I'll insert some pictures here to see what happened. It was probably the exact date. I don't remember exactly when it was, but it was the day after or the day of when the news came out that, oh, the coronavirus um, has spread to Southern California. There's one known case, blah, 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 blah. And I think it was that day or the day after that that my door got, got talcum powdered. Um, I contacted the RA, of course, and people in charge of our building as of right now nobody told me who did it so i have no idea of knowing why they did it this is just a minor issue but when i send the pictures to my mom she asked me if everybody knew that two chinese girls were living in our room and if they were just being mean to us by talcum powdering our door See, I don't know exactly why people would do kind that kind of a thing. It's probably just a prank, but I have no beef or issues with people in my building. So that was kind of shocking to me. 
Anyways, that happened. We don't know for sure if it's racist. I'm not gonna label it as a racist encounter just now. I'm just telling you guys what happened to me. Um, another thing that happened to me is students in UCLA, you guys know on the hill, there is the study at um, Hedrick and then under that is um, Rendezvous, which are two um, dining halls. I usually study at Hedrick and my dorm is all the way downhill in Sunset Village. So I was at Hedrick that day. I was wearing a mask to protect myself from the flu, from the flu, from the flu, because everybody is coughing right now because of the flu. A lot of my friends are sick because of the flu, not because of coronavirus, because of the flu. I was wearing a mask to protect myself, right? Because dining halls are where the students gather and there are a lot of people, I just, it felt unsanitary, okay? I was wearing a mask in Hedrick study. I went downhill to go back to my dorm to get some stuff. I was in a hurry because there was an assignment due and I wanted to get the book uh, from my room. So I went downhill and I passed rendezvous. I was wearing like the Beats, it's not even Beats, Bose, like, noise canceling headphones and I was wearing a mask and when I was walking down there four white males approached me their their average height was probably like six feet or something I'm five foot two just for reference they're really tall so four white males one of them was holding a mic and then I think the other one was holding a like a camcorder or something uh, I didn't really pay that much attention I was walking downhill uh, past rendezvous and the four white males approached me and the one with the mic yelled at me. He was like, hey, come talk to us. I assumed that they were filming a YouTube video of some sort uh, or something. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna ignore them because I'm in a rush to get my book. So I kept, wa kept on walking. As I kept on walking, um, the guy behind me yelled, Yo, coronavirus. He called me coronavirus. The guy called me coronavirus as if I am not a person, but a virus. Just because I am Asian and I am wearing a mask. Was that really necessary, people like... I'm just gonna give you guys like two seconds to process what had happened to me. I did not like retaliate on the spot or confront them or anything because I was in like a rush to go downhill. And again, I'm five foot two and they're like six feet or something. I just couldn't defend myself at that point because I was vulnerable. And I think they're using the fact that I'm vulnerable to attack me. I'm pretty sure they've done it to other people from how just how natural that sentence just rolled out of their tongue. It was like, yo, coronavirus, like, come talk to us. Bitch. That was minor, okay? Let's talk about my friend's encounter. My friend living in Boston. He's American-born Chinese, ABC. He's not even born in China, but he has Chinese parents who told them to wear a mask just like for protection reasons. They're paranoid and they wanted their son to protect himself. That's so natural. It's it's a natural thing to ask your kid to do in a time like this, okay? So my friend was walking back from school wearing a mask and three middle-aged white man driving in a car drove past him. They rolled down the window, yelled at him, and can you guess what they yelled? They yelled out, sick Chinese cunt. Just think about that for a second. Sick Chinese cunt. They use the C word on oh, my friend. And then they drove away before my friend could say anything back. They are cowards and they run away. They do not think about the consequences of their actions, nothing. They drove away after yelling such a fucking derogatory sentence. They drove away. Let's 
read some news next, shall we? I'm just gonna read it from my iPad because I'm so agitated right now. My dad told me to, if I'm filming a video, don't get agitated. I'm sorry, father, I have to be agitated. I'm fucking pissed off, okay? News, Chinese woman severely beaten at Grand Street Station, New York subway by an African-American male. I will insert a picture here. He yelled something really bad and the woman was just wearing a mask and going back home. Second piece of news, also at a New York subway station, Chinese male going back home wearing a mask was almost pushed down to the railway track, but for fortunately was saved by the officers on duty. Also, Chinese female from Taiwan wearing a mask is pushed down to the railway tracks and one leg was injured. I'm not sure if it's by the same person, but these three incidences all happen in, in New York and at the subway stations. Let's move to Vancouver, Canada. An Asian mom and her daughter walked past a white male who called out, you dropped your coronavirus. And when confronted for being racist, the white male responded, I say this to people of all skin colors. So if you think I'm racist, you're racist. Are you joking right now? Is this the response that you think was appropriate for a situation like that? If I read every single piece of news that I read on the internet, I'm, we're gonna be here all day. There are so many incidences where Chinese international students were beaten um, or um, called out or yelled at. Um, it happened in Germany. It happened in um, Australia, I believed. And everybody is just using this um, horrible, horrible situation as their way and their time to normalize racism and they think it's okay because every Chinese person is sick right now and it's okay to make fun of them. On that note, making fun of people, let's look at some fucking internet memes that will cheer up your day. Certainly did not cheer me up. Let's see. The first one. When a Chinese man coughs right next to you and underneath is a picture of Master Uwe saying my time has come. No, uh, no buddy, you're not gonna die. The guy probably coughed or sneezed because he's allergic to your dumbassness and you should probably stop saying stuff like that. Okay, next one. This is from a journalist in Toronto, I believe. He posted, hopefully all I got today was a haircut. Hashtag Corona outbreak, hashtag coronavirus Toronto. It's a selfie of him with a Chinese guy wearing a mask. So unfortunately, this Paul Ackman guy didn't only get a haircut that day. He also got fired for being fucking racist. The third one. So it's a bunch of masks. Well, surgical masks are useful to prevent the virus, just so you know. And it's a zoomed in picture that says made in China and this guy is all nervous. Why don't you, whoever posted this, um, go back to your home and throw away everything that's made in China and see what you have left, okay? Can't do that? Yeah, didn't think so. Huh, okay. I just want to clarify a few things, okay? We don't all carry the virus. Not not all of the Chinese people carry the virus. Um, it's only a, a smart part, part of the population who got infected. But it's spread all across China though, so it's a serious issue. It's such a serious issue and you, sh you guys should know that. Lovely people of the internet have some sense to yourself and think about how severe this issue is to Chinese families and for us like Chinese international students studying abroad our families are back in China would you put yourselves in our shoes and think about how worried we are when we lose a family member when the people in our country are suffering think about how worried we are before making all of these racist but like 
funny statements on the internet? Do you actually think that it's the right way or the right stuff to say at a time like this? And for whoever's watching this, if you have done something similar than what I just mentioned, I'm sorry, but you're fucking racist. Don't do stuff like that. Don't say stuff like that. Don't repost memes that are racist towards Chinese people, Chinese students. Do not marginalize Chinese international students at your school just because they're Chinese. Especially when people overgeneralize stuff and saying all Asians are sick right now. Chinese is the sick country and they need to be fixed. No, no, just... Just don't do that. Next part, I want to talk about what we did wrong. What we as in what China did wrong. Um, so I went to my anthropology class yesterday. My professor, God bless him, he spent the first 30 minutes talking about um, the coronavirus issues and how it's been spread to Southern California already. And he was saying that um, Everybody's so paranoid, which is understandable because it's spread, it's getting closer and closer, we understand that. He said a lot of things such as don't get caught up in the racist hysteria online, uh, protect yourself, all the kind of stuff. He explained everything to the students, all of the facts, and how the flu is the main reason of death right now, not coronavirus or Chinese people's existence. Um, he also mentioned that um, the Chinese government didn't respond on time regarding this outbreak, which is true. The Chinese government did not respond as quickly as people would expect it to be. That is why um, the issue is so severe right now and how many people um, were infected without them knowing. So we did wrong on that part. Also for Chinese media, there are fake news on all kinds of news sources and that of course in include Chinese media sources. If they were lying online, um, an example is this morning's um, Dr. Li's death. Um, after it, the news came out that he is dead, a lot of the media sources were like, oh no, he is and he's in the ER like being, he's, he survived, he's gonna make it. But we, a lot of people lying online but Chinese media sources are not the only ones. I just want to say that. And I just want to take this time to tell you guys that all countries make mistakes. Not one country or one government is perfect. And of course the Chinese government or our country is not perfect. We did horrible things. We f spread around fake news. There are rumors everywhere online now. But we're not the only country doing it because there are so many fake news relating to coronavirus spread around um, across Western media sources, um, social media apps included like Instagram, Twitter. And I just want to tell you guys, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of these social media sources are not reliable sources for news and know that fake news exists everywhere in this world and it's such a serious issue um and that is my point just don't believe everything you see online go to authoritative sources for news and of course i just mentioned at the beginning of the video how um the denmark or uh herald sun newspapers um put all of these like racist cartoons on them so I guess you really cannot believe everything that you see online, offline, just have your own judgment is really where I'm getting at. Have your own judgment towards this kind of stuff. And I just wanna say, I cannot fathom why somebody at such a difficult time for my country is digging up like the dirty history of China and every horrible thing that the Chinese government did and saying that China did this, China did that, and they're finally being punished. <sighs> Many people know that 
those who spread the virus, the two women, they ate bats in Palau, I believe. It, it wasn't even in China, it was somewhere else. Um, they brought the virus back to China. Um, they ate wildlife, which they needed to be condemned for their actions. They really needed to, they needed to be punished. But all of the broken Chinese family right now don't deserve to be punished. They do not deserve to be punished. China as a country, we have not done anything so severe that we deserve so many people to die. Just know that when you're saying something online, it could affect a lot of people. Words can hurt a lot of people. And you should really consider what you put up online. And racist comments, I don't understand why it is 2020 and people are still saying stuff like that and just targeting um, Chinese people for no apparent reason. My people, my family, my friends, Chinese people, patients who are infected, and the doctors and nurses who worked day and night without rest trying to find a cure for this disease, they are innocent and they don't deserve to be punished. I don't know if you guys know this, but um, a couple of days ago was the Chinese Lunar New Year and my nephew was just born but my family couldn't go visit him because nobody is allowed to travel outside um, at that time because it was too dangerous. There was a risk of being infected and I'm so worried about my little nephew who, who was just born recently in January and my family could only visit him wearing masks and like being fully protected during that time and I couldn't personally go back to China to reunite with my family um, at a time of reunion celebration that is the Chinese Lunar New Year and on that day so many Chinese doctors were at their hospital and they couldn't go back to their family to spend the holiday with them as well I'm saying this because I'm letting you guys see the picture I'm letting you guys see the issue of what's going on in China so you could really think twice before putting out a statement such as the Chinese people should be punished or all of Chinese people are sick and they should die. They deserve to die. People can be really harsh online. I'm slowly, I'm learning that um, as I'm like browsing on the internet um, for these couple of months, I'm getting really angry and I'm sorry about that. I just want to like add this. Um, I'm going to insert it here. It's what I think I believe UC Berkeley, uh, UC Berkeley Health or something. Their official Instagram, um, uh, their official Instagram account put out this handout of some sort that says uh, normal symptoms um, during this time period. And the last one was xenophobia. Um, the fear to contact any Asian students, and Asian people, or whatever, stuff like that. It's UC Berkeley. It's a, it's the second best, best public school in the United States. And they're putting out handouts like that and spreading it around um, students and saying that xenophobia is normal. It's not normal. No matter during what time, racism and xenophobia should never be normalized. I'm feeling a lot better getting all of these stuff out of my chest. And I just want to say that Chinese media report false news as well as Western media. Um, it's really hard seeing everybody online now just so agitated all the time. And what you should do 
what you should actually be doing instead of being a fucking racist is first of all i want you to be healthy protect yourself wear a mask i'm gonna i'm gonna put a link down below um of what the who suggests people do during this period of time uh, to avoid getting infected um be safe more practical suggestions I can give is don't share makeup or um, eating utensils, studying utensils, uh, stuff like that, pens and pencils, like um, all of that stuff. And disinfect your room, disinfect your phones because they're really dirty. Um, you touch the doorknobs that everybody have, has touched and then you touch your phone so every whatever's on the doorknob is on your phone and you're like holding your phone close to your face it's really not safe um buy those like alcohol-based sprays where like prep pads to wipe your phones and your ipads your your uh, computers and stuff to disinfect them everything that you touch get some like purell or something to wash your hand on the go and if you're if you see And if you see a Chinese student, might be your friend, might be just a stranger who's um, wearing a mask or um, looking very worried or concerned, they're just trying to protect themselves, okay? They're trying to not get sick because in college everyone's so busy with everything and they're probably just trying to do their best to go through this difficult time and maybe something happened in their family back in China and what you could do instead of targeting them or marginalizing them or being mean towards them is ask them if they're doing well, ask about their family, ask how you can help and that's it. That's all you should be doing instead of being racist face to face with someone or online it's equally equally bad i've been talking for a long time and i really i just needed i need a break i really hope this video i know it's not entertaining um i will make sure to put out some fun videos in the near future but this is a time that I feel like those kind of issues need to be addressed. And if you were oblivious towards this kind of issues um, before watching this video, I hope you're more informed. Of course, I am not any sort of authoritative um, resource for news as well. So I'm gonna link down the WHO website so you can fact check and know how to protect yourself. I just hope everybody I love, they're gonna be okay. I hope everything will be okay in the future. And you guys know there's a travel restriction going on right now. And I probably can't even go back to China this summer. And the whole entire 2020, I'm just gonna spend it here alone in LA, which is kind of sad. Um, I hope whoever is watching this video is more informed on the issue and know what to do and what not, what not to do and have a clearer sight into what's going on right now. For me personally, I think the most dangerous thing right now is not the virus, but ignorance. Ignorance and racism and the audacity to put out racist statements online. These are the most dangerous things right now. And I hope everyone can be safe and healthy. And I hope you value the time you have with your family and be grateful of what you have, who you have around you and I just need this year to get better. I guess that's all I mean to say today. That was really tiring and 
I'm sorry if I sounded really aggressive at points. I'm not a person like that. I'm usually fun and bubbly, but today I can't. I have to be serious and I think I achieved my purpose. I'll see you guys in another video if I still have the courage to put up stuff online and be safe. Be safe, be grateful, have a wonderful day, and let's pray that this year gets better from today on.